Now, obviously, the star attractions are our whale sharks, and there's one. Uh, looks like Ralph. Now, we do have four whale sharks. Who knows their names? Ralph, Alice, and Trixie. Very good. That's correct. All right. Now, the whale shark is the world's largest fish. So if you came in here and said that's the biggest fish you've ever seen, you're right. Uh, they can go, the longest whale shark on record uh, was about 40 feet 7 inches. Ours right now are quite a bit smaller than that. Uh, Ralph and Norton are about 22 feet long, and Alice and Trixie are about 16 and 17 feet each. 40 feet would be pretty spectacular. We're expecting ours to get in between uh, 25 and 35 feet. Now, one question that we get quite a bit around here is, why don't they eat each other? Well, we keep everybody very well fed. Now, the whale sharks don't eat the other fish. They are fed, but they don't eat the other fish for another very important reason, which is that they can't. See these uh, little yellow fish swimming in front of the whale shark's mouth? A lot of people think that's crazy. Why would you swim in front of a shark's mouth? Well, that is actually probably the safest place in the entire exhibit, because the whale shark, despite having a mouth that's all about four feet wide, can't actually eat anything bigger than about a quarter. They have a very small throat. They have a special organ called gill rakers that strains food particles out of the water as it passes through the gills. The water goes through. The food particles get swallowed. If any of those larger fish got into their mouths, the whale shark would just spit them right back out because they can't swallow them. Now those little yellow and black stripy fish are called golden trevally. They're still juvenile, and they hang around the larger fish for protection. Because when you're a small fish, you want to hang around a larger fish so that other large fish don't come and try to eat you. They don't know that everybody's very well fed. They don't want to take any chances. Now we have several other, other different kinds of fish here in the exhibit. Uh, about two thirds up, swimming across the middle, we have a large tooth sawfish. You can see that prominent rostrum going across. Those are teeth on all the sides of the rostrum. They use that to catch prey. They'll swim into a school of fish, they'll waggle it back and forth, stab a few fish, and then they will eat them. They can also use it to dig into the sand to uncover prey that's buried in the sand. Now, a moment ago, I saw a white tip reef shark. Oh, there it is. At the very surface, right on this side of the window, white tip reef shark. They normally like to stay in the shallow part of the exhibit. This is about 33 feet here. This is the deep end. Over by the ballroom is the shallow end. That's more like 20 feet. That's where the white tip reef sharks normally like to live. And we also have these large gray fish here. These are giant grouper. 